talk about cardiologists. And you are a cardiologist. Yes. Does everybody need a cardiologist? I should say yes. <laughs> Everyone who has a strong family history should see a cardiologist starting in their 20s. And I really believe that if we focus on prevention, and sometimes that might be with a cardiologist who really can follow your risk factors, that we can prevent heart disease. There are things to do by decade, by changing of life issues, whether it's pregnancy, perimenopause, menopause, but the earlier we start in getting these risk factors checked, especially when you have a family history, the better off. So let's, check, let's qualify family history. So immediate family, if anybody had a heart attack or a stroke. So what the guidelines say is that if anyone in your family, a man less than 55 or a woman less than 65 with a heart attack or stroke, that's a family history. What I say- Immediate, but immediate. like parents, siblings, yes. children. If you have a sibling right. who had a heart event, right. your risk goes up exponentially. I always say if you're sitting at the Thanksgiving table and you look around and can count how many people you've lost to heart disease or stroke, you have a family history. Now, how about the when grandpa had a stroke? Grandpa had a stroke at 85, that's not a risk factor. 70s? 70s, it gets a little concerning. Mm -hmm. And then you have to look at your father. And if your father has high blood pressure maybe, right. and that high blood pressure developed in his 30s or 40s, that puts you at a risk. So although we have the cutoff for these numbers, really talk to your family about what happened, when it happened, and at what age. Okay, and so then, can you though, again, because 20 is going to a cardiologist, can you talk to your GP and say, hi, should we start paying attention to my heart because of it, or is it really a cardiologist, and or what's a cardiologist versus a preventive cardiologist? You can definitely talk to your GP and really start there. When you look at cardiologists versus preventive cardiologists, I would tell you to go to a preventive cardiologist who's going to look at your lipid scores mm -hmm. and really not just your general cholesterol, but what's happening. There are other markers that can determine whether you're at risk at a younger age. Getting things like a coronary artery calcium score if you're at risk for heart disease might be important even if your numbers look okay. And a preventive cardiologist can really direct you towards what testing you might need. Gotcha, okay, and the same question I will always ask you, any difference for men versus women? Absolutely no difference. The only difference I would tell you is that if a woman had issues during her pregnancy, whether it's high blood pressure, preeclampsia, uh, gestational diabetes, diabetes, she should get checked by a cardiologist during her pregnancy and thereafter should have a cardiologist as part of her team. Okay, cardiologist on the, on the list. Thanks, Suzanne. If you liked what you just watched, please let us know. Make a comment on the video. Do that social thing. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it on any of those social places that you like to go. And come back to BottomLineInc.com for more videos with Suzanne Steinbaum and more of our Bottom Line experts.